Hi and welcome to my first tutorial. I'm going to show you how to model a treasure chest. Uh, I have made this little sketch of how I want it to look. A uh, really quick little scribble just for reference. Uh, I got references from the internet looking at different chests here. Um, I'm just going for something quite typical, something similar to this. And I'll take you through each process. This is really pretty. You can uh, get really advanced and do something like that. Uh, but I'll just do something really simple. Okay, so uh, I have been having a little go at something, but it went a little bit wrong. So I'll delete that one. Uh, I'll model this a simpler way. Um, so I'm going to create a box. I've got the snap setting on. And I'll create the box in the top viewport. And I'll bring it up to about there. Okay, I'll get into the modifier. I'll right click on the box. And I'll click Editable Poly. I'll get into face mode. Select the top face. And I'll choose Inset. I'll type in a value of 5, I should do it, ok that, I'll click on extrude, and I'll bring that down to minus 30, minus 40 maybe, what we'll do here is I'll right click on the smooth and highlights part of the front viewport, and I'll choose a uh, wireframe, and I can see how far down it's gone there. I'll also turn the grid off uh, by pressing G. G toggles the grid for any viewport that you're currently on. I tend to use the mi the middle mouse uh, button to click on my viewports just in case I click off my object. So that's that. OK that one. Uh, I've got a habit of using Arc Rotate as well from older versions of Max, uh, but I can right click and come off that. Uh, you can use this all the same, uh, it's just a habit that I've got. So, okay with that done, I want to choose this face. And you need to watch sometimes if you're in move mode. Um, you're going to move things that you select by accident, so it's good to press Q to go into select mode. Uh, w is move, E is rotate, and R is scale. So they're good shortcuts Q, W, E, and R. Uh, if, uh, yeah, okay, so that's how I selected that. Uh, we're doing the same in both sides, so I might as well select this side as well so I can hold down control and click and that's me got both sides selected and I'll do an inset ok that now I want two of these uh, like in the drawing I wanted two so I'll undo that um, with those still selected I'll use a slice plane. Now when you activate a slice plane it comes up this little yellow rectangle. Um, it's not doing anything yet until you move it into place and click slice. So I'll bring it up uh, to there like it's 90 degrees. Make sure you've got your angle snap toggle on. You can right click and change the angle. Uh, I'll leave it at 5 degrees, that's fine. Um, but you can make it 15 or 30 or 45, whatever you prefer. Um, I find 5 is quite good uh, for getting like 45 degrees. Um, you just keep an eye on this little part here. You'll see the angle you're moving it at. So 45. Yeah. Okay, so that's us got it at the right angle and it looks like it's on this line as well so that's good now with that set up we click slice and because I've got these two polygons at either side, the two faces at either side 
uh, selected. I should have sliced it. So I need to turn off slice plane now. And you can see it's created a line here and a line there. Good, so now I can back to my Q, press Q for select again. And I'll select this one, hold down control, select this one, bring it round, hold down control, I'd have it. <laughs> okay, so I've got all four selected again. And now I'll use inset. And you can see it's done it as a group. And I'm using that again. Uh, I've done it as a group, so I'll choose by polygon and it separates them the way I want. So I'll remember the amount and I'll do four for this one actually. Uh, okay. And I'll extrude those in about minus five. Minus four even. No, minus three. That keeps it nice and even there. Minus two. <laughs> Sometimes it's just a case of looking at how even you've got things. And minus three is probably fine. And click OK when you're happy with that. OK, so I've got the front and the back to do the same thing. So, polygon, press Q. I'll click off. So it deselects anything, so I'll just click away from it. Now I'll choose this panel, hold in control, choose this side. Okay, and I want to split it, I think. I'll look at my drawing. Yeah, I want to split that again. Oh, and I think I've just opened something by accident there. Yeah, I opened Game Maker by accident. Okay, fun and games back to 3D Max. And the slice plane again, activate it, rotate it, and slice, turn it back off. Uh, I've got the polygon selected already, and I'll choose inset, and I've got my polygon selected already, and I've got four selected already. Uh, sure if I used 4, did I use 4? I think I did, yeah. It remembers the last value, so that would be correct. And it should be, yeah, they're pretty much perfect there. Same with uh, extrude. Click that, and it remembers the last value. And I don't have to do any by polygon or by grip, it wouldn't matter. Because they're separate anyway. And I'll OK that. So it has got the panels and things done on the outside. Now we need to create the lid. Just check my time here. Okay, I should have enough time. Okay, so I'll call it this uh, chest uh, base. And I'll save it. You can create a new folder. Uh, Call this a small chest, and uh, this chest. Okay, um, that's the base done. Now we want to create the the top part. So when we draw a cylinder, we will choose keep put the snap setting back on. You can see this little blue square appears. And I want to go into the side view so I can draw it from there and bring it over to meet that edge. And I'll let go and I'll just drag it across like that for now. It might be the wrong size but I'll fix that shortly. Uh, I'll change the height segments to 1 just now. And I'll change it to 2. That gets those bits ready for me. And I'll move it over the grid still on, with the snap setting still on. Okay, I'll just move it centered there. And I'll increase uh, the height of it. this 
splice function here to bring it right like that and that will be 180 degrees and there's quite a lot of segments on the top there I can reduce that a little bit Uh, I usually like to get it so it's flat at the top, so I'll check the wireframe here. And yeah, it's flat at the top there. Sometimes you'll get bits like that happening. Um, I want it flat at the top, so 13 is a good number for me. Just very peculiar little things like that. Yeah. Now, if I look back at my drawing a split here at the side. So the only way I can get that is by changing this to editable poly and choose the both sides. Turn this grid thing back off. Hold down control. Bring on the slice plane. Rotate it round. I've got my angle snap still on, that usually never comes off with me. I tend to keep that on unless I'm doing some animation or something. So I'll slice that. And I'll use the inset. And um, by polygon, that's kind of what I want. And I remember that value being 4. That looks right, it lines up here. So I'll OK that. And I'll do extrude, and I remember that value being minus 3. OK that. So there's the... Uh, the sides are done. You can see from switching different modes here, uh, I can um, toggle between the selected items and uh, the scene items. So that's selected, it will zoom into the scene, but if I choose this one, it will zoom into the object I've got selected. So that was what I was talking about earlier with that one. And it does it for all viewports. This one just does it for the one you're on. I just tend to use all viewports. Okay, so I still need to do the top parts. top parts are separated and that top part's kept. So um, check my time here. Okay it's almost time so let me do this quickly. If that's selected, hold on control, one, two, three, four. I'll just hold down Alt and I'll deselect that one. No, I won't. I'll bring that back on. Um, yeah. That's fine. One, two, three, four. Uh, yeah. One, two, three, four. Now, I don't want to do this side just yet. What I'll do is I'll do inset. I'll choose group. And you can see these are still being selected, so I'll cancel that. I'll hold down Alt and deselect these guys. It seems to remember the last selection unless you deselect them. So, inset, four, extrude. Okay, one, two, three, four. Inset 